when I started learning about the difference between inside and outside sales, I couldn't really understand it because I, I always knew that an inside sales person could close deals using Zoom, et cetera. Yep. And so that's basically what you're saying. Technology is eradicating this the definition, basically. Yeah, I mean, the technology has been around for a while, but buyers are now open to it more. And, and it used to be, and, and to, to a certain extent, there's that, that, that relationship and in-person that in-person component still matters, but it's right now it's a lot harder to do. It's actually, it isn't being done at all. So it can't matter, but over time it will again. But what you're seeing is just that, that acceptance level going up and, and, and there's a cost side to it as well. The, the, the components that go into an inside sales uh, to executing an inside sales role versus an outside sales are, are, are more efficient. You, you don't have the travel, you don't have different, different costs that go with that. So those things are kind of colliding together. You have buyers that are now more willing to, and, and now that they've been forced to do it, they're kind of seeing, well, it's not that I can kind of get what I need um, without having you try to, to, to come in and talk to me. So buyers are enabling it and companies are seeing the benefits of it. So it's just naturally starting to go in that direction. I think you'll see that progress even further over time. 